I started playing GTA Online in early 2014. Back then, the only way you could make some money was by doing the contact missions. One in particular was called Rooftop Rumble, and it absolutely sucked. So when Rockstar finally released the heist, it was an absolute game changer. This was really where I started my journey on earning a billion dollars in GTA Online, and I'm going to show you how I did it. In the Pacific Standard heist, when we discovered a way to keep all the money, we'd probably do this heist about two or three times a day, and that's earning you $400,000 a pop. Then of course there was the Criminal Mastermind Challenge, which would earn you up to $12 million for completing it. This was a consistent income for months and months and months. Then Rockstar introduced us to the businesses. The first business that came out was the crates. But to be honest, I really wasn't a fan. It was too much grinding, too much effort, extremely tedious and just not much fun at all. The biker businesses were very different. We had the cocaine, the meth lab, counterfeit cash, weed and forged documents. We would have it down to a fine science. We'd work in teams of four or five and take it in turns to fill each other's warehouses. By the time we'd finished stocking up everyone's warehouses, it would be time to sell and then we'd take it in turns to sell. The only drawback here was how boring and tedious some of the selling missions were. Then came the vehicle warehouses. Once you worked out the system and how to play it, it became very profitable. The trick here was to get up to 60% of your cars, sell all of your top end cars, and then from then on you would only receive top end cars. This way you'd be selling them each for 80,000. As far as businesses go, the bunker was by far the best. At the time I had quite a bit of cash, so I could afford just to do the research. Once I've researched everything, I put all of my efforts into creating money, of which I've now made in excess of 200 million. The best thing about it was how little effort you had to put in. All you had to do was buy the supplies for 75,000, meaning there was no work done, and just sell it on for a huge profit. This is what is called a passive income. It would generate money in the background where you could do other things. The hangers were a really welcome addition. They were fun missions, but unfortunately, the time it took for you to get the crates to earn the money was a bit too long. Rockstar really turned it up a gear when they brought out the Doomsday Heist. This was the first time that you could choose how many people you would do the heist with, whether it be two, three or four. Obviously, a smaller team meant a larger cut, and these heists were really hard to begin with, and they still are now. They are very challenging, but also very good fun. The next big change came in the form of the nightclubs. This was another passive business, but relied heavily on the businesses that you already had. It would condense them down into this one location, and then you could sell when it was full up. The other big thing that came with the nightclub DLC was the terabyte. When the terabyte's client jobs were double money, you could earn easily in excess of a million dollars per hour, as each job would pay out $60,000 and would only take about three minutes to complete. Then of course came the casino heist. Three different approaches and all very well fought out. Once I got good at these with two players, we could earn a million each time we do it. We're doing these about two, three, four times a day. That plus the bunker and you're absolutely raking it in. So that's it really. That's how I made a billion dollars in GTA Online. If you're wondering what I spent it on, let's have a look. 28 million on weapons and armor, 425 million on vehicles and maintenance, 17 million on style and entertainment, 146 million on property and utilities, and the rest on some other stuff. So if you would like to become a GTA billionaire, give us a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.